Global News Update. I am Soy Bifa Jackridge. A number of container ships are anchored in the Red Sea and others have turned off tracking systems as traders adjust routes and prices in response to maritime attacks by Yemen's Iran-aligned houses on the world's main east-west trade routes. Attacks in recent days on ships in the major Red Sea shipping routes have raised the spectra of another bout of disruption to international commerce following the upheaval of the COVID pandemic and prompted a US-led international force to patrol waters near Yemen. The Red sea is linked to the Mediterranean by the Suez Canal, which creates the shortest shipping routes between Europe and Asia. About 12% of world shipping traffic transits the canal. Major shippers, including Heipak Lord, MSC and Merzik, Oi Major BP and Oi Tanker Group Frontline, have said they will be avoiding the Red Sea route and rerouting via Southern Africans Cape of Good Hope. But many ships are still plying the waterway. Several ships on the way have armed guard on board. LSEG data showed at least 11 container ships which had passed through Suez and were approaching Yemen, carrying consumer goods and grains bound for countries including Singapore, Malaysia and United Arab Emirates and now anchored in the Red Sea between Sudan and Saudi Arabia. LSEG ship tracking data showed industry sources say the impact on global trade will depend on how long the crisis persists but insurance premiums and longer routes would be immediate burdens. A federal judge on Monday ordered a halt to the removal of a Confederate monument at Arlington National Cemetery shortly after U.S. Army screws began work to dismantle the tall bronze statue as required by Congress under a January 1 deadline. A spokesperson for the cemetery managed by the U.S. Defense Department said the Army was complying with the restraining order and had ceased removal work begun in the morning atop the statue, known as the Confederate Memorial. The cemetery own online Critique describes the monuments, imagery, and inscriptions as sanitizing pre Civil War slavery, rheumatizing C section of the Southern pro slave states, and perpetuating the noble lost cause myths of the Confederacy. The monument features a classically robbed woman cast in bronze, representing the American South standing atop a three story pedestal adorned with life size figures of deities. Among those figures are an enslaved African American mammy character holding the infant child of a white confederate officer and an enslaved african-american man following his owner off to war according to the cemetery's description the monument overlooks confederate graves in a special corner of the sparring cemetery which stands in allenton virginia just across the potomac river from washington dc on the grounds of a former plantation seized from civil war general robert e lee commander of confederate forces confederate soldiers and civilians Allenton Cemetery said on Saturday the army was seeking to comply with January 1st deadline for removing the Confederate memorial and expected to be done by December 22nd. But a group called Defense Allenton filed suits accusing the Pentagon of skating federal environmental law in its rush to take down the Allenton monument and proceeding in a manner that would disturb adjacent grave sites. U.S. District Judge Rosie Austin issued a restraining order temporarily blocking the monument removal citing allegations that the burial sites were threatened by the projects. Cemetery has said the granite base and foundation of the memorial were being left in place to avoid the sobbing surrounding graves. The judge set a hearing on the matter for Wednesday in U.S. District Court in Alexandria, Virginia. Ukraine's embattled economy can weather the next few months until foreign aid arrives. But 2024 is certain to be tougher than this year and Kyiv will need to rely more heavily on its own resources. Ukraine hopes to plug next year's $43 billion budget deficits, mostly with foreign financial aid, including 18.5 billion euros from European Union and more than $8 billion from a US package that also contains vital military assistance. Both packages have been 
blocked so far by Republicans in the US Congress and by Hungary in the European Union, but should eventually pass. Though, a question Mark Klingers over US financial aid, economist and foreign diplomat said. Since Russia invaded in February 2022, Kiev has ploughed all of its revenue into defence and the military while spending on everything from pensions to social payments has been covered by tens of billions of dollars of foreign aid. Kiev could fall several billion dollars short of its financing needs in 2024, but a 10% billion dollars shortfall would create problems for macroeconomic stability and its international monetary fund program, said Olena Bilan, Dragon Capital's chief economist. The IMF, which approved the new $900 million tranche this month, requires firm financing assurance for the next 12 months. So, a substantial decline in external financing could call its program into question, she said. Ukraine also needs to find a way to restructure about $20 billion in international debt next year after sovereign bondholders agreed to a two-year payment freeze in August 2022. Finance Minister Serhii Machenko said the government hoped to secure foreign financing in full in 2024, but added if the war lasted longer, then the scenario will include the need to adapt to new conditions. Importers of coffee to the European Union are starting to scale back purchases from small farmers in Africa and beyond as they prepare for a landmark EU law that will ban the sale of goods linked to the destruction of forests. A cost of climate change, industry sources said the cost and difficulty of complying with the EU deforestation regulation, which comes into force late in 2024, meant it was already having unintended impacts that could in time reshape global commodities markets. Four cited a drying up of orders in recent months for coffee from Ethiopia, where some 5 million farming families rely on the crop. They warn that sourcing strategies being adopted by companies in advance of the law risk increasing small-scale farmer poverty and raising prices for EU consumers, while also undermining the EUDR's impact on forest conservation. Under EU deforestation regulation, importers of commodities like coffee, cocoa, soy, soy, palm, cattle, timber, and rubber, and products that use them must be able to prove their goods did not originate from deforested land or face hefty fines. Coffee major JDE Pitts said it might be forced to exclude some smaller producing countries from its supply chain as early as March if it hasn't found and implemented a solution with them by that date. Deforestation is the second lead cousin of climate change after burning of fossil fuels. Wells, the European Commission said it has several initiatives to help producing countries and smallholders comply with the EUDR, including one launched at COP28, where the EU and member states pledged 70 million euros, that is, 76 million dollars, to that end. It added that some smallholders see the EUDR as an opportunity, especially if accompanied by EU support measures, as it will help them meet growing global demand for sustainably sourced products. Lava from a large volcanic eruption in Iceland appeared to flow away from the only town in the area, offering hope that homes will be spared, geologists and rescue officials said on Tuesday. The eruption late on Monday on the Reykjanes Peninsula in southwest Iceland spilled lava and smoke more than 100 meters, that is 330 feet, into the air after weeks of intense seismic activity. The eruption does not present a threat to life. An Icelandic government statement said there are no disruption to flights to and from Iceland and international flight corridors remain open. The eruption opened a 4 kilometer that is 2.5 mile fissure from which lava fountains emerged but at its southernmost point the crack was still 3 kilometers away from Grindavik. Iceland's meteorological office said located between the Eurasian and the North American tectonic plates among the largest on the planet Iceland is a seismic and volcanic hotspot because the two plates move in opposite directions. 
That is the size of top accolade global news updates. You can follow us on our social media platforms as displayed on your screen. Happy Tuesday.